Here's how you can make this simple glitch text effect here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with 1080p artboard size, and the font is gonna be Franklin Gothic. This is a free Adobe font, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Here I'm gonna separate the text in four, so I'm gonna create four copies, press Ctrl J, this way I got like four layers, and I'm gonna uncheck the first three, let's select the fourth, and I'm gonna double click on it, and here I'm gonna remain with the PAN, uncheck it, check the second one, and here is going to be separated the TER and the next also is going to be separated. So next these text parts are going to be assembled one by one. So I'm going to move these here on the right and arrange them accordingly. Next let's select the layer with the TER, double click on it, let's decrease the fill, activate the stroke, make sure that the stroke position is inside and probably going to go with like seven pixels, click OK. I'm also going to copy paste this stroke to the VIS. So let's go here to the stroke, press and hold alt and drag the stroke effect and pull it to the next text. Let's go and select this new text and decrease the fill to zero. So now we're going to need to select all the text layers, press and hold shift select all, right click and select convert to smart object. Rename it as text, double click on the text layer and here we're going to need to go to the channels and let's uncheck the green and the blue. Let's go and activate the outer glow, here make sure it's on white. Blend mode is going to be a linear dodge. Opacity I'm going to go with like 80. And the size for 1080p is going to be 40 pixels. Click OK. Let's go and collapse this layer. Press Ctrl J to duplicate. And double click on the new layer. And then on this layer we're going to go to the channel. Uncheck the red. Activate the green. Click OK. Press Ctrl J to duplicate. Double click on the new layer. Uncheck the green and activate the blue. Click OK. So this is going to be the blue. Second one, the green. Third, the red. I'm gonna select the red and drag the text whatever you want. Then I'm gonna select the green and drag it into the opposite direction and arrange it however you like. All right, so it's going to look something like this. Now let's select the layer with the red. Press Ctrl J to duplicate, rename it. This is gonna be the blur. And let's go to the filter, blur, and select the motion blur. Here I'm going to go with a higher value at the distance, for example 650, click OK. You also can go and decrease the opacity if it's too strong, somewhere around 50 and 40. And let's select the green text layer, press Ctrl J, rename it. And let's go back to the original layer with the blur, select the motion blur, press and hold Alt, and drag it on the green blur layer. Select the green blur layer, decrease the opacity, so now you got some nice contrast going on. And that's it, thanks for watching.